Hey guys, it's about uh, 5 o'clock on Sunday, it's about 49, 48 degrees, I woke up this morning, it was 29, never reached the pinnacle of pouring concrete, so got a little done in the house, moved, moved some stuff around, starting to move my rubber mats. I'm going to use until uh, I can build a bed. And a little fire going. This feels pretty good, <laughs> let me tell you. The bugs are starting to die off. They try to get in the house in order to survive, but they die and I have to vacuum them up. So. <laughs> It's, uh, it's a weird, weird thing. Going on two years up here now. Getting a lot done. Uh, it's one day at a time. You know, the job is uh, challenging. We're losing people. One of my main guys that runs the lumber department, which is my neighbor, which I'm very, very highly uh, involved with. He's going to disappear for six weeks because his wife is having a baby like him the next day. It could be happening right now. <laughs> I had a baby shower for him in the break room last week. And... Uh, he was very appreciative, and I thought it was appropriate. What, what can I say, you know? Uh, I'm hanging in there. I'm hanging on by a thread, because this is not, it's not my thing. Uh, I'm used to a different, I'm used to a different uh, environment. So we'll see how it plays out. I am looking into that other job. I might have a problem with the fact that I'm only there four and a half months. I'm not there six months, so I don't know. But uh, to uh, hang on for another two months, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. But we're gonna do what we gotta do to survive, right? Didn't get a lot done. I wish I could show you a bunch of stuff. But uh, I, I worked all week, no days off, so only got done what I could today. And I got the uh, furnace going. Had a little problem with that last night because it was hitting uh, 28 degrees. But I figured it out. I'm, I'm starting to burn up a 20 pound tank of propane within three to five days. And I wasn't expecting that. So I'm gonna have to like get two more. It's another hundred, everything is a hundred dollars. <laughs> when I had the Harley, HD standing for a hundred dollars. Well, now that, now that I've got the property, uh, Iron Mountain. I'm paying. <laughs> Everything costs a lot of money. But the new toilet works great. Pump is working good. Furnace is working good. AC is working fine. Uh, Generator is holding its own. You gotta, you gotta love the cat. Uh, Caterpillar sold me this uh, generator, it's been running now, going on two years. It's a workhorse. It's running right now. Because I've got to warm the water so I can take a shower. I've got to heat the house so it don't freeze to death. I shut it down about 10 o'clock, 11. And I insulated it properly so by the time four o'clock hits, it's still warm in the house. 
plus I got my sister's uh, comforter. That magic comforter. I don't know how it works. I talked to her about it. She's like, I just made it like everybody else. That thing keeps me warm and toasty all night. I had to do a little operation. I had a uh, cyst uh, underneath my my belly here. And since we don't have insurance yet, I had to lance it, drain it, batch it, and sew it myself. Um, obviously, it worked out fine. I've had the sewing kit, the emergency uh, field preparation kit. Uh, I've had it for years, and I've only had to use it twice. And this was one of them. Got rid of the problem. It wasn't a, uh, a cyst like a cancerous. It was more of a pustule uh, scenario. And uh, probably from the dirt, grime, and everything that I lived with every day. Got it out, drained it. Didn't come out in a clump, came out in fluid. And I just... Uh, Two stitches, real quick, kind of like piercings or a tattoo. Um, and uh, they'll dissolve on their own. So, patch that up. So, ergo, why I didn't get a lot done today. I was in pain for two days, but now it's over. Uh, let's see. You can see the sky is kind of cloudy and overcast. They're expecting it to go down to 25 tonight. See how it plays out. I always drain all my water out of everything. I learned that from last year. And uh, I don't know, did some cleaning, food prep. I got I got enough chicken. I, I was wanting to make some jambalaya for a backup system, but I didn't get to it. I had to dust off a lot of things and vacuum up some bugs, fold some clothes, and bring out some new clothes. I've been taking a lot to, uh, to Goodwill because I'm never, I'm never going to get that big again to fit in those pants. So there you go. And now I'm going through the smaller pants and, and doing some realization is that I doubt very seriously I'm going to get small enough to wear those pants so they can go. I'm going to stay right in the happy medium. You know, it is what it is. I got a delivery on Wednesday. I have off on Wednesday. I'm going to try to get as much done as I can. I'm shooting for. And then I have Sunday off the following Sunday. The week after that, I'll have the 24 and 25, the day before Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving off. What are the two days Lowe's closes? It is Thanksgiving Day, Christmas Day. So I'm going to monitor myself. Start taking half an hour lunches and build up some time. And I'm going to get out of there about 2 o'clock on the 24th, come over here and start. Because I'll have 20, 20, well, 23rd. And then I'll have the 24th and 25th off and I'll try to get a lot done. We'll see how far I take the delivery that I got. It's, I, I'll look at it. Payday is coming up Friday, so maybe I'll get enough 2x6 material to do the framing on the deck. So all I got to do now, after I do that, is I'll have the outdoor done, get the steps aligned, get ready to do the interior deck, which I don't need slats for. I'm going to use uh, plywood for that. So, 
one day at a time. One day at a time. I got a lot of ideas and I'm trying to get them all done. Uh, real quick, we lost uh, we lost two people. Bob Womness was a great guitar player and a great songwriter and he was a good friend. He passed away. And then uh, Wade Johnson, another great guitar player. I knew him for, forever. 15 years. Uh, he passed away. And then I talked to my friend Billy Elkins, who I just was in a band with uh, five, six years ago. He's got, uh, he's got cancer, and they give him a year, and nothing's working. It's metastasized very fast, and uh, we had a good conversation. I miss him. He's like a brother. I lived with this man when I was 15 years old, and now at 62, he's 63, he's dying to cancer. So it's been a bad week for losing people. Uh, musicians usually go quick. If they didn't get out or monitor their alcohol intake. But Billy never drank or smoked, so that was a that was a, that was a different call. I never expected it to come out of the blue. But let's pray for these people. Uh, they were all good people. Billy's a good good person. I hope that he beats this thing, I don't know, I'm not there, it's in Florida, but uh, it just shows you every day is, every day is important, you know, every day matters, before you know it, you lose another person, car accident, stroke, heart attack, you never know, my mother went, Damn, one, two, three, gone. And uh, it's shocking. So, I don't want to be uh, morbid. I don't want to be negative. I'm sharing that with you. Uh, we were good friends. I'm going to miss them. And we're going to keep forging ahead. Because if nothing else, it's a wake-up call to eating right, staying strong, doing the best you can, and surviving this thing. So, uh, have a great night. I hope everybody is happy and healthy. I hope everybody is looking forward to Thanksgiving and spending time with friends and family. Ironically enough, I may get Chinese food on that night. Because <laughs> all I eat is chicken and turkey. So I might do something different. Maybe sweet and sour pork or something. I don't know. But, uh, all right, guys. I love you all. I thank you for watching me. I'm good. I'm always doing something. And uh, I'll talk to you next week.